Siena real estate market. Uh, this is the first quarter and I'm going to compare it to the fourth quarter and the first quarter from a year ago. Um, just this is a picture of the Siena stables, like pretty much the only community that I'm aware of that has its own stables. Um, anyway, I'm just going to look, touch on interest rates quickly here. So everything I'm doing is from the first quarter of 2023 on. So everything's in this six to eight percent interest rate range. Um, I've been doing these for, I don't know, over a year or something, these quarterly videos. And the other ones all had this uh, massive interest rate appreciation or spike going on here. So that kind of changed the numbers, obviously, when the housing market starts slowing down as, <clears throat> as these uh, transactions did anyway, the number of homes sold. Uh, as the as the interest rates started going up, uh, prices haven't dropped. I mean, there was there's been a little bit of pullback, but generally it's still going up. So uh, that hasn't been a factor. But uh, just want to touch on that. Like interest rates are all in the no, new normal high interest rate range. That's what we're seeing here with all these numbers. Okay, so resale, a um, little bit of a drop here. We'll have to see how this goes in the, the next quarter. The second and third quarter are typically the busiest. Um, but a little bit of a drop off as for pricing. It looks like a big drop off here year over year. But when we move to the price per square foot, it's actually increasing. So I've been noticing this trend um, definitely with new homes, but on resale too, which is kind of strange. But it's just the... I guess the smaller homes are selling more and people are holding on to the big homes. I guess that's what it's telling us. Um, but yeah, price per square foot has definitely increased even though the average sale price has dropped quite a bit year over year and even quarter over quarter. So we'll see how that looks next quarter. It's probably going to be uh, a short term thing. But um, yeah, prices are still appreciating on a price per square foot basis. Um, new homes, again, ups and downs. It seems like in new homes sales, there seems to be a lot of fourth quarter sales. Kind of makes sense. Builders want to clear out inventory, some other reasons. This is only going to be um, homes that they're listed on HAR, on the MLS. <clears throat> homes that the builders sell um, from the ground up, they don't list, so we don't get the information. So I, I do have the numbers of how many are built, but I don't know the proportion. But So this is just listed homes that you would see on HAR. Um, pricing, big ups and downs here. As for price per square foot though, um, again, more or less steady. If we look back here, see that how this number is the highest, but the sales price is the lowest. Um, so that's just again where uh, as builders sell smaller homes the price per square foot goes up generally of course luxury homes are going to throw that off a bit but as prices as the homes get bigger the price per square foot is going to go down so that's kind of what we see here in inverse relation um but yeah things are looking steady or appreciating generally that's what i'm taking from this um months of inventory this is like of all the areas i checked and i'm doing videos for sugarland richmond rosenberg Missouri City, which is going to include Siena, uh, Katie Fulshear, might have missed one. But anyway, um, Siena's months of inventory is surprisingly high considering how strong the pricing is. This is reading at three and a half months right now. I have a suspicion that next quarter it's going to drop back down. Uh, but for now, three and a half months, um, you can see during the peak here when interest rates were around 3%, how how busy it got um, and then a little spike I wouldn't read too much in this spike because this is like month over month kind of data that it's showing uh, but yeah we're up to three and a half lunch which is higher than I was expecting to see for sure so prices aren't dropping yet but uh, a little bit more inventory than we've seen um, there's a little spike here and this might end up being a little peak too that's going to drop off so yeah, that's the end. We'll just have to see how that works out next quarter. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Check out some of the other areas if you're interested. Thanks again for watching. Bye.